So with the last Gearbox stream which covered the Guardian takedown and the third DLC expansion of Bounty of Blood, A Fistful of Redemption, within that stream they went on to talk with Matt Cox who is a game director. They spoke about a secret mechanic which today we check out. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BF3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within the video description. So Matt Cox is a game director on the DLCs for Borderlands and he spoke of certain things in game like boss references and a couple of other things within the latest Borderlands 3 stream. He was later questioned on the Tyrene battle and how for some getting the mechanics down was a problem. Personally I didn't know many people had issues here but hey, well, he went on to talk about a mechanic he said he added but it seems no one at all picked up on it. Yeah, take a listen. Help me out here. Is there anything <laughs> you can do that can like give me an edge over Tyreen? Because she whoops me sometimes so and I get I, sad. Yeah, I don't know if anybody has really figured this out. Like there was a their period of time, like two months after it came out, I was like on YouTube. I'm like, all right, people have had to have found this like hidden mechanic, but I've never seen it anyway. So there's the Iridian rock formations. You know, when you get the resonator, you can melee like the Iridian rocks, right? Because they have like the, the purple crystals, you find them around. So one of her meteors that she throws at you, like that she throws at you a lot, is made up of those same Iridian crystal chunks. So I'm like, uh, surely as it's coming to them, people are going to think to melee it, it right back. So I was very inspired by a classic Zelda fight. So where yeah. you could just melee that huge meteor right back to Tyrene and it staggers her. And so like her, her face, you know, you know, pours out of her weird chest cavity thing. So I figured people would, might uh, pick up on it, but I didn't do my job well enough, and I don't think people... <laughs> it, it, was, it was such a frantic fight. They were just like, oh my god! And so they weren't just like, oh, look at that thing. I remember, I can melee those shapes of things. Oh, wow. Wow. So, I can't wait to try that. But maybe, like, hopefully now everybody can go try it out, and, uh, like, as that's coming to you, instead of getting out of the way, just work on the timing to melee it and watch it go back, and she'll just, like, stagger. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that so far. So after hearing this, I too jumped on the internet and couldn't find anything on this mechanic at all. It exists, but it seems at the moment of him talking about it, it's a secret mechanic. So I jumped into the fight and to be honest people, I tried meleeing everything she threw at me with no luck at all. But then I realised also that she shoots out an Iridium Rock too. Now I've seen this before obviously, but it never dawned upon me to even think you could indeed melee the thing or melee at a perfect time to send it flying back towards Tyrene in smaller pieces. And I think this is what many people would have thought going into this battle. I mean I don't think you want to be standing in the way of this thing so you just jump out of the way of it. So it makes sense as to why nobody picked up on this mechanic at all. But yeah, as you can see on screen now, if you melee these rocks at that perfect time, you send them shooting back towards Tyrene, doing a little damage and also, as Matt Cox says, sometimes staggering her. So if you ever now go and farm Tyrene, which is probably best now to wait until June 4th, when we get the phase 1 patch which updates item cards showing the level in which that weapon is tied to. So for instance, a Mayhem 10 King's Cool will state Mayhem 10 on his item card. So it's probably best people to wait until this is live. Exclusive to Tyrene in terms of dedicated drops, at the moment I believe it's the King and Queen's Cool the Otto Idol Artifact and the Bitch SMG. So yeah guys, for those that were not aware or haven't seen the mechanic in action, here it is. I wonder actually how many more hidden mechanics are in this game. I mean this has gone so long now, no one's picked up on this, it's unbelievable. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell. Button. Also guys if you do want to support me directly and become a member do click that join button it really does help out but again thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.